is oh you already know what time it is man it's your boy grown man business and listen you can tap in and you can tap out but you know my slogan you know what i suggest and i suggest you tap in so let's get right into it and whack 100 you are the topic of discussion my g whack 100 you are the topic of discussion my g so let's get right into it and i gotta say man it's getting real wicked in these youtube streets right now you feel what I'm saying? If you're paying attention, if you got your third eye open and you got your head on a swivel at all times, you can clearly see it's getting wicked in these YouTube streets right now. Now you got Hassan Campbell, you got WAC 100, and they playing a hell of a game of chess. Oh, it's a hell of a game of chess being played on the chessboard of life, on the chessboard of YouTube right now. Now Hassan Campbell and WAC 100, they was playing cool with each other. They was pretending to be friends with each other. You understand? So they would get on the phone and they would have these in-depth conversations. The whole time Hassan was recording WAC 100. He was recording the conversations between him and WAC 100. And just recently, he leaked the auto of WAC 100 saying that Nipsey Hussle was down with the Rainbow Coalition. Saying that he had footage of Nipsey Hussle doing something that would involve him in the lbg one two three community i mean it's getting wicked it gets deep and it's always deeper than rap when you scratching the surface not only that but you got whack 100 saying that big use tried to send him at lower london and black sam to extort 30 percent of nipsey's uh, estate I mean, that's crazy, right? But it's not too far off because I've been telling you. I've been telling you about Big U. And what WAC 100 said on that audio, stamped it, certified everything I've been saying. It don't sound too crazy now, do it? I mean, it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. It just is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But Hassan leaked audio, leaked audio of WAC 100 exposing it all, exposing it all. I mean, it gets deep, it gets wicked, bro. And it's always deeper than rap when you scratching the surface. I gotta say, salute to Hassan for that chess move. Oh man, he he's playing. He's playing like a master chess player right now when it comes to it. WAC, you lacking. You got cards lacking and you're gonna have to answer for everything you said, WAC 100. That's the beautiful part about it. So it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my first angle. My first angle. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the whole situation with WAC 100 speaking on Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? Just the foul things that he said about Nipsey Hussle. Now, if you backtrack, if you retract, I spoke on the whole situation between Nipsey Hussle and Big U back in the day. You know, Big U had to discipline Nip Hussle due to a song that he made called You Don't Have a Clue, right? But it was always deeper than that. And I spoke on it. You know, Nipsey had a baby mama or he had a jump off that he was having fun with. Some things went left, but I didn't have the full story. And listening to WAC 100, he just stamps the real story. He says that Nip was caught in a video running a train on his first baby mama. Not Laura London. Let's get that straight. His first baby mama. His oldest daughter's mother. You understand what I'm saying? And within that video, he was smashing from the back. His other homie was getting it from the front. And Nips and, 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 and WAC 100 claims allegedly that Nipsey pulled her head off of homie's John and tongue kissed her in the mouth on crib, <laughs> right? That's what he said. And then put her mouth back on the John. Now, I got to say, if there's footage of this, it's going to be damning for Nipsey Hussle. It's going to be very damaging and damning to the legacy of Nip Hustle. It just is what it is. If Nipsey actually did that, then yeah, man, you know, he definitely was treading the fence and he had just put one leg over for messing with the, you know, the LBG 123 community, you know, the Rainbow Coalition. 
But I gotta say, you know, it makes total sense now because ever since Nipsey passed away, WAC 100 has been very vocal in disrespecting Nipsey Hussle's name, disrespecting Nipsey Hussle's legacy. And I always wondered, like, why would WAC wait for Nipsey to die? Nipsey was just here, nobody was saying anything. Nipsey gets smoked, and now WAC is very vocal. And I'm thinking it's because WAC has seen this tape. WAC has seen this tape. And if you were to see a tape with that kind of activity on it, it's going to put some disdain on you. It's going to make you feel a certain type of way, and you might start. And that's exactly what's happening. Now, I got to say this. This is all allegedly. If, if there's a tape of Nipsey doing that, whack, you're going to have to stand on business, my boy. This is not high school where we just going to listen to you talk. You're going to have to stand on business and produce the footage to back what you just said. You understand? And if you can't produce the footage, my G, I got a feeling your whole situation is going to decline. You're going to go on a decline, whack 100. So you need to stand on grown man business and produce the footage that you was talking about. It just is what it is. Because other than that, dog, you, you know, you full blown hater, you know, you drinking haterade. And you got to pull it together, OG, old guy. You're the old guy still connecting yourself to the youngins. You're the old guy still trying to rub shoulders with the youth, you know, monetize off the youth, you know, capitalize off the youth. You understand? You're not bringing anything positive to the youth. You're not bringing anything um, of some substance to the youth. You are old head that's not doing anything productive when it comes to the youngins. And then you speaking on Nipsey Hussle in such foul ways, my G. You got to be handled for that. You understand what I'm saying? Um, It gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deeper than rap when you're scratching the surface. And I'm definitely going to scratch the surface. So you already know how we do at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my second angle. My second angle, my G. And that's just where is all Nipsey Hussle's homie at? Where's all of his homies at? When Nipsey Hussle was alive, Nipsey Hussle had hundreds of dudes around him. When he would do stuff at his store, it would be hundreds of people at the store. When he was on tour, he would have his whole crew riding with him. His whole crew had all money in chains. His whole crew was all in the videos, all on the songs, getting money with the, with the homie. And now that he has been smoked out, now his untimely demise, it seems like ever since WAC 100 been talking down on Nip, you're not seeing none of his dogs really riding for him. And I mean, it's not, it's not, I'm not surprised because when he got smoked in that parking lot, I didn't see nobody go get a gun. I didn't see nobody help Nipsey hustle. They let him lay there. They let him get smoked. They let him get kicked in the head. We all know the story. So, when Wack is talking like this, why is none of Nipsey Hustle homies, his rolling 60 partners, disciplining, DPing Wack 100? Yeah, man, think about that. Think about that. To all the youngsters out there, think about that. You know, you riding around with all these dudes, all you claiming all these guys is your dogs, your road dogs, y'all came out the mud together, but nobody's sliding for you. They letting WAC 100 talk. I mean, he been talking down on Nip ever since he died. And I haven't seen Pac-Man, Jay Stone, uh, 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 Kabi Supreme, none of these dudes run down on WAC 100. You understand? Make TMZ. Do something outlandish for your dog. Protect his name. Protect his legacy. Stand on grown man business. You know, I lost a lot of respect for the gang culture of California when Nipsey got smoked, I did. And then I gotta say, I lost even more respect for the guys that was under his wing, for his for, for the youngsters that Nipsey was putting on because they ain't sliding for Nip. You know, if, if Crip Mac can get DP, right? Disciplined for something he did over 10 years ago, WAC 100 can get DP right now for how he's talking about Nip, for how he's spitting on his legacy. 
It just is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. This is grown man business TV. And when you hear somebody talking about Nip, it just it seems like everybody outside of Cali, everybody that had no real ties to Nipsey Hussle is speaking more vulgar and trying to protect his legacy than the people that was in the car with him. Than the people that was riding with him. Than the people that had that blue rag on right with him. It's, it's disappointing. And it's a well lesson learned to the youngsters. Get you a bad chick. Get you a, a solid woman. A wife. She gonna ride for you. Your dogs that you playing video games with. And you running the streets with. And you smoking with. They gonna leave when you when your when your untimely demise come they gonna go handle their business they gonna they gonna they not gonna bro when you go to jail when you get smoked one of the two you're gonna learn that the only people in your corner is like your immediate family that love you and your wife your dogs they got man they come on man and this is a prime example look at all nipsey hustle homies they not saying nothing they letting whack spit on his legacy and he ain't been dp one time yet he ain't been knocked out. He ain't been packed out or nothing. Not once. It's a shame, bro. And it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Nobody, come on, even the game. I'm watching the game. Like, you say you was cool with Nip, but you let Wack 100 talk like that. The game. And you ain't smack his mouth off. You ain't DP him. You ain't run the fade with him. Y'all niggas is suckers. It just is what it is and it'll... Be what it's going to be. I'm not going to make this a long one, but I had to tap in. Why has WAC 100 not been DP? Why has he not ran a fade, two phase, three phase, four phase, five phase, six phase for talking like that about Nip Hustle? It just is what it is. And y'all ain't standing on grown man business over there in Cali, man. That California gang culture, y'all not standing on grown man business. Y'all might smoke something, but y'all ain't standing on business. And it's deeper, deeper than rap, my G. It get deep, it get wicked, and it's deeper than rap when you scratching the surface. And I'm definitely scratching the surface. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and that segues me into my third angle. My third angle. And that's WAC 100 and Big U. That's WAC 100 and Big U. Now, when you listen to this audio, it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deeper than rap when you're scratching the surface. And towards the end, you hear WAC 100 say, no, nah, no, nah, you know, Big U is one of the biggest snakes you could ever encounter. He's going to act like he like you, but it's all for a motive. It's all for an agenda. He said WAC 100 reached out to him and told him to use the video to lean on Laura London so that they could get 30% of Nipsey's estate. Mm, think about how deep that is. Think about that. Again, he said, he said, Big U told him to use that video of Nipsey doing what he they said he did. To lean on Laura London and Black Sam to get 30% of Nipsey's estate. Now, Wack turned around and said, Hey, you wasn't asking for this 30% when Nip was alive. Why are you asking for it now? That's crazy, right? That's what Wack said, and that's the truth. But Wack, you wasn't talking about Nip like this when Nipsey was alive, but you're doing it now. So, what's the difference? He wasn't asking for 30% when Nipsey was alive. You wasn't running your mouth about Nip when Nipsey was alive. I mean, it's a lot going on while Nipsey has passed away. It's a lot going on now that wasn't happening when Nip was alive. But that's a whole nother video. What? But back to the back to the topic at hand. You feel what I'm saying? Let's stay on course. Now, I've been told y'all about WAC 100. And this right here just seals the deal. This right here just stamps the envelope. I told y'all whack uh big U was a snake. I've been told y'all big U had an agenda. I've been told y'all big U was jealous and envious of Nip Hustle from the start. From the jump. He only he on he seen an opportunity, became an opportunist 
Nipsey said before, hopefully your opportunity don't come with opportunists in the room. And, it, and that's exactly what happened. His opportunity came with opportunists in his room. Big U didn't put Nipsey on or introduce him to people just because he rocked with him. He did that for financial gain. Right? That was in the beginning. Big U was a drug dealer. He said he stopped selling drugs. He went to jail, came back and said, I'm not selling drugs, but I'm going to rob the drug dealers. Then after he started robbing the drug dealers, he understood that with the athletes and the, and the, on the entertainment and the artists that come to Cali, we're going to start extorting the artists and the athletes. We're going to become managers and start extorting them. And that's the game that he took. So when you hear Wax say he told him to lean on Laura London with that video for 30% of Nipsey's estate, you got to know that's right up Big U's alley. That's what he's good at, extortion, manipulation. He's good at those things. Those are, those are his top qualities, Big U. So you got to understand, Big U already knew Nipsey might have had this footage out. Big U already knew that the main agenda and the, and the final goal with Nip Hustle was to get him as big as possible to extort him. You know, is this going over your head or is it going under your bridge? He knew that if he built Nipsey Hustle up, he could then tear Nipsey Hustle down. If he built Nipsey Hustle up, he could then extort Nipsey at the highest level. If, Nips, if Nipsey Hustle is a multi-platinum artist and he gets 30%, oh, we getting big money. This is residual income that you get while you're sleeping. Big U had a motive the whole time. And when you listen to WAC 100's audio, you can pinpoint, you can tell that it's honest. You can tell that it's genuine. And he's talking to Hassan Campbell as if they are friends. He's talking to Hassan Campbell as if he has no cares in the world. The last thing he's thinking is he's being recorded. That's the last thing he's thinking. And when you do that, you get the honesty. He said out his own mouth that Big U is the biggest snake you could ever come across. If he rocks with you, it's only for financial gain. It's only a motive behind it. It's an agenda behind it. Wax said this. Yeah, it is what it is. And he said that he was going to extort Nipsey for 30%. Why is he still trying to get money out of Nipsey? That was the problem in the beginning. You know, he thought that Nipsey had more than he had and he wanted a piece of it. When Nipsey was bringing DJ Khaled and people like that to the hood to shoot videos, he wanted to extort it. He wanted DJ Khaled to pay an extortion fee to be able to record in the 60s. And, and, and again, Nipsey was trumping that. Nipsey was bigger than Big U. If he likes it or not, Nipsey had grew bigger than Big U. So he brought DJ Khaled to the hood without asking, with no permission. Even when he was younger, he brought YG to the hood without asking, with no permission. It gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deep in a rap when you're scratching the surface. And whack 100, you know, you have been exposed, my G. And with you being exposed, you have definitely exposed the hand of some of your closest partners, like Big U. This is uh, obvious. This is obvious. I mean, it, the writing's on the wall. Even a blind man can see this clearly, whack 100. You know, it gets deep, man. What he said about Big U... It gave me the chills because I've been saying this about Big U. I've been pointing the finger at homie. He a snake. He a rat. His heart is not. He can't even hide it within himself. It's oozing through his pores. Every time I see him, he hates on Nipsey Hussle. So when Wax said that he was the biggest snake you could ever run across, when Wax said that Big U tried to get him to lean on Laura London and Black Sam for 30%, that's a lot of paper, bro. You going to take that out of Nipsey Hussle kid's mouth or try to? Come on. Come on. Big U is the biggest snake. The biggest snake. And, and, and I'm not going to make this a long one, like I said, but you got to understand something. The 60s have a motto. The Rolling 60 Crips, they have a motto that they live by. And I learned this from listening to Nipsey Hussle. They are scandalous. They take pride in being the most scandalous gang. 
in LA. Scandalous. That mean they, they ride on y'all, they'll ride on each other. You know, they get as scandalous. They they get the most scandalous. And and Big U has been the leader of that for years. So who is going if you if you was the leader, he's the most scandalous. Or oh, he's the most scandalous. You got to know how many people he done backstabbed, how many people he done threw under the bus, how many people he done got wiped out and swept under the rug. He's the biggest snake. He's the most scandalous out of the 60s. And that's how they got rid of Nipsey. And I mean, that audio was powerful, Hassan Campbell. So I got to salute you for dropping that, man. It was powerful. Big U, you got some explaining to do. And it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times. It is what it is, my G, and it'll be what it's going to be. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest? And I suggest you tap in. I suggest you tap into this grown man business. I suggest you tap into this grown man content at all times. You already know what it is. Straight off the brick. Into the bottles, straight, raw, pure, uncut, no extras, no preservatives. We not sugar cold, nothing, and we not dressing nothing up big. You and whack 100, I'm giving it to you straight, raw, my G's. Big you and whack 100, I'm giving it to you straight, raw. And it is what it is, and it'll be what it's gonna be. But whack 100, you got some explaining to do, my boy. You have to now explain yourself, you have to now explain your words. You have to explain that that shit you was talking on that phone. You got to explain that, my boy. Or you need to be DP, disciplined. Somebody need to get in whack ass. It is what it is, man. And I feel like it's people that's outside of Cali. It's people that have nothing to do with Nip that never met him. That's more uh, hands-on, more, more vocal, more vulgar about what needs to happen about protecting his legacy than his own homies. Where's Jay Stone at? Where's Copy Supreme at? Where's Pac-Man play ball at? Pac-Man, you need to go play ball on WAC 100. Play ball. Man, it's a disgrace. It's a slap in the face to see a homie like Nip riding for y'all get killed and y'all just, man, y'all, man, y'all need to take those all money in chains off. Y'all need to take those all money in chains off until y'all do something, until y'all earn them chains. Y'all ain't earned them chains. And it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times. It is what it is, and it's be what it's going to be. Whack 100, you got some explaining to do. And Big U, the snake you are has been exposed. I done already said this, but uh, Whack 100 done stamped it. He put the seal, sign seal, and approve on it. You will, come on, man, worst of the worst. Scandalous of the scandalous And it is what it is And it'll be what it's gonna be So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV You know what I'm saying You can tap in and you can tap out But you know my slogan You know what I suggest And I suggest you tap in Dang.